This video will be discussing why Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon resigned on Wednesday 15 February 2023. It will be looking at the factors that may have led up to her decision such as her controversial comments about the transgender community, or the future of Scottish independence and many more. For more content like this make sure to like and subscribe. Nicola Sturgeon announced her resignation on Wednesday 15 February. She said one of the reasons which helped her confirm her decision to resign was after the funeral of independence activist Alan Angus. Despite this many people still are speculating why Sturgeon chose to resign at this specific moment in time. It has been argued that there have been several factors which may have played a role in influencing her decision to resign. Factor 1 Scottish Independence Nicola Sturgeon has been campaigning for Scottish independence for a long time and has been calling for a second referendum to be taking place. However, after the Supreme Court ruled that Scotland cannot hold a referendum on Scottish independence without the UK government consent, the SNP party now need to think what their next steps are after this big rejection. Factor 2 Gender Reform In December 2022, member of the Scottish Parliament voted to pass a bill called the Gender Recognition Reform Bill. After a lot of debating and discussion, this bill passed by 86 votes to 39. Sturgeon argued that the passing of this bill was important, as it would to reform a system which is traumatic and degrading for trans people and would want a replacement system that allows trans people to legally change their gender in a less traumatic way. However, she has faced opposition on this issue as opponents argue that passing such a law will conflict with the UK Equality Act which for example will mean that female-only space will find it harder to exclude people who are born biologically male. This act was blocked by the UK government by using the royal assent. Ms Sturgeon vowed to challenge this decision in court, even though a poll carried out in Scotland saying that a lot of people agreed with the UK government blocking the reforms. Factor 3 Transgender Prisoner Row After the decision to place rapist Isla Bryson in a female prison was made, the First Minister conducted quite a few interviews and broadcasts where she refused to refer to Bryson as either a man or a woman. This resulted in the First Minister receiving a lot of backlash from the public and has put her position at risk. Factor 4 Strikes The public sector is growing increasingly concerned over the ongoing pay issue. This especially because of high inflation and interest rates, as well as an increase in council tax rates and many cuts to budgets and staff pay. Many teacher unions are going on strike, whilst the NHS has agreed to suspend strikes for a while, whilst negotiation continues. All of these issues were not a good reflection on the First Minister, and is something her successor will have to deal with. Factor 5 – The Peter Morrill Loan a political scandal broke out over the question of a loan of more than £100,000 that was given by the First Minister husband to the SNP party, to help the party out with some cash flow issues they were facing after the election of 2021. It has been bought into question, where her husband gathered such funds. Not to mention, for the past 18 months, the SNP party have been under investigation about what would happen to the £600,000 that were raised from the supporters of the future second referendum. Lastly Factor 6, Sturgeon has had enough. She has been in this role for eight years and mentioned in her resignation speech that this has taken a toll on her and her life in general, as she claims she doesn't have much privacy and also doesn't get to spend much time with her friends and family. If you like this video make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comment section who you think will be the next First Minister of Scotland.